All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are in Asgard. We're going to finish this up right quick so we can uh, continue on with the rest of the main story. See what's going on here with Odin T and what, you know, fighting Fenrir actually leads to because we didn't figure that out before because we were extremely underpowered. Javi, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash, whose magic will signal that he's safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon. That is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It's a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Fenrir! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what? Do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the collar. Or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki. Have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Be swift, Harvey. It burns! Harvey? Nice. Unbind him! Here you die, deceiver. Right back to the boss fight. Oh, did I miss him? Come 
Come here, friend. Friend of real. Ah, oh, damn it. That's not gonna be great. Oh, he's still affected by poison. Good. Go, you bitch! These do not do that much damage to them. Got him? Much more damage than we did the first time. Find him! Find him! It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Where did you hear these words of prophecy? Damn it! Sit still, Fenrir! This is a boss fight! Come here! Jesus, I'm way over what we need to be. Because I think we need to be 250 and I'm like 317. And I'm still barely doing any damage to him.
go. No. All right. Mashing it. time. Almost got him. Until he keeps doing that. my way out of it. Here. I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way. There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate or no, you made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. 
You may strike the final blow, son of Loki. But I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Okay, well, holy shit. That was awesome. In the footsteps of gods. This was not my day to die. Okay, I think it is time we, uh, woke up. Volk is definitely going to want to talk to us. Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? There was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning, but I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son. With an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed. But I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables. Yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. 
All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Genungagab. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us. We drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. That was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand, or I hope I do. Thank you, Valka. All right. Where am I? Let's go see what uh, what's next after since we rescued Sigurd before. And we have yet to talk to Ranvi, but we'll, we still need to see what's next. Massa. Good day. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast, and when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man, yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. Okay. And what's next? I want to see the Alliance map. Glasgow Shower. Shire. What transpires in Glauchestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Glauchestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. Huh. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his oh. search for a wife. And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. Okay. I mean, All sure. right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Glowchester. You will find him there. Okay, um, it's located off the Thames River. At the west, he's at the west side of town. Okay. I I'm okay to play wingman. <laughs> Down here. Uh, thankfully, I did wander in here to see what was up, because I, I, I honestly didn't think we were going there, but, you know, I guess I was mistaken. Alright, let us ride down to, uh, Lowchester. There and I'm pointed right at it. It's a beautiful little valley they got going on down there.
I mean, there's been a few times in Assassin's Creed where you've been called the fourth to uh, play wingman. I just didn't think it would be happening in this game. to get on the other side. Huh. Well, maybe there's a hole in the roof or... Nope, there's this. Oh, it was blocked. That makes sense. There are guards down there, and I really don't want to deal with them, so let's just, like, calmly ride past. Oh, that's the fat shot. Where is What's he? see you, old friend. Oh, he's over there in that little village. All right, let's get the uh, sink point first. Void detection. It seems there's reason for us to actually go inside. So how would I go about getting up there? Oh, I see. <laughs> I think I see. Oh, oh, okay, that works too. Oh! 
Okay, they're patrolling Athletic around there. And not Might as well go this way. Uh, what's going on? Where, there you are. Come on, boy. And he is that way, right? Yeah. Show me. There's a bridge right there we can go over. The toll is off to What? I'm walking here, shitling. Where is he? Have a look, Sunan. He's just around here somewhere. There you are, Gunner. And with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Oh, great! Eivor! Over here! Eivor! Thought I smelt you under wind. Gunner, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have! This Valkyrie right here, Bridget. My own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our gunner. Avendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried Evan Gillard and Anun. Couldn't help Drew's me. Bridget man power the last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours. If our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Dim Jolch, you two bags of air see a gumpas gillet. A tavor gal, cleese loun. Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? Can you understand her? <laughs> so the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking vikings. These sciences they go come from all over head. to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. But seriously, can he understand her? <laughs> I would assume so. He, he seems to be able to, but still. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunner speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? 
unseated godright kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. <laughs> so you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm? God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? I just realized they're well. Sauron. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around. It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane <laughs> has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Lo, in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? <laughs> to humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant, your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Teftir, get to safety. Boars. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? <laughs> well, if my presence wasn't needed... I wouldn't be fighting boars now, would I? Where's the last one? 
Oh, did it run off? <laughs> I think we're clear. Oh no, it came back. Okay. That was close. Indeed it was. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. All right, if you're that stubborn. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. Cool. <laughs> you gotta hate yeah. when people be stubborn idiots about certain things. Like, how about you wanna bet that he's not gonna come back or he's gonna be injured from another boar attack? Alright, let's see if Gunnar learned Welsh. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. These prompts. Eivor! There you are! Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. Accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path and I usually serve. To the brevo. <laughs> but you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. How did Teftir become Kunan's successor? He speaks with his god's fire, but I do not quite believe it. I watched the Egloy's father as Harden call on Teftir. He believes my venade's quite do. Hmm, tragic that is. But I think the lad can still be molded, Aver. You might be just the one to do that. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal Anvel is spread down in creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Clawashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Luft. Now, let's hooden. Oh my god, Come this the is Mary awesome. Luft, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering. But even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Gunner, if no one else is... Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sowing night and the moon is high, Mary Lewid haunts my door. Give me sweets and candy treats. Oh my god. Give me sweets and candy treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then. 
Sweets for the Marty Lewid. You've earned it. Oh, this is awesome. This, <laughs> this is great. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. Oh, that's great. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. Knock, knock. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road from my abode, there is an open veil. Hope to God this Mary Lewitt doesn't fail. Oh, have a cake for your troubles then. I have like no clue what I'm doing other than uh, trick or treating. Lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. Um, where's the next house? There's a house over there. Ah, uh, I haven't trick or treated since I was like Eivor, 14, I think. warrior. Maybe, Knocker maybe less. Doors. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. Sweet. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this, Gunnar. Yeah, they keep giving me moldy cakes. Show me what lies ahead. Please, continue. Oh, that's amazing. I'm gonna keep this on. I'm gonna keep this on. Fairliches, switches, three on fair. What the fuck did you say oh, to me? I oh, said, sir. cloth ears, take your false gods and piss off back to your shit. <laughs> you are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Goner, we are guests here. Let them go. We can hood and more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, him tall. All right, let's kick some ass in a, in a skull mask. Won't take long. <laughs> It's you lot we should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? Oh. They know how to have fun. There we go. Die! Four spears, my leg. Gunner. You alright, buddy? Enough! Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a gumpas to patch this land. Will he walk again? The gash is deep. If I cannot save the leg, the pigs will eat well tonight. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire, but I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I give me strength. My man Modren is known I'm a humor toe Gudran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Modren. You do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. 
That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Oh my god, that's great. That's awesome. It took me a minute to figure out that everybody here was Welsh, or that they're, like, Welsh-ish. Especially because the coastline isn't lining up with Wales, but, you know, it's cool. You, you stretch, and stretch the distance as it needs. But I thank you all so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment.